the government has said it will develop a package of health and social supports for survivors of mother and baby institutions. There are 44 recommendations contained in the report from a survivors forum established by the Minister for Children, Catherine Zappone. Putting victims of abuse in mother and baby institutions at the core of discovering what really happened to them and to their mothers. That was the stated aim of the Children's Minister when she appointed a 20-member consultative forum last July. Most members had lived in the homes. Now the government is deciding how many of their recommendations, chiefly on health and social care, can be implemented. What I would envision myself is that there should there 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 will be um, some agreement uh, around uh, access uh, to uh, whether GP services, um, to counselling, mental health supports, possibly to physiotherapy, um, to uh, dental ophthalmic supports. These are the kinds of things that the forum members have identified. Is that they um, the people that they represent want and need. Those are the kind of practical things, though, that this working group. HSE, Department of Health, my department, will be looking at. Among the forum's 44 recommendations are that the government promptly grant the HAA medical card devised originally for survivors of Hep C, state-funded comprehensive private health screening for all survivors, and free expert DNA testing, along with the establishment of a repository or bank of DNA information for future tracing by children and their natural mothers. The yet-to-be-published full forum report contains an example of the health issues still afflicting an elderly woman. Decades ago, as a rape victim, she was put into Cork's Bessborough home and experienced serious hemorrhaging while giving birth and then the taking of her baby for adoption. And I was in shock for eight months. The stress has brought a lot on me. I have rheumatoid arthritis and no one else in my family has ever had this. On legal advice, the full forum report, which is almost 60 pages long, cannot be published until the Commission of Investigation into Mother and Baby Homes publishes its own report that's scheduled to happen next February. Joe Little, RTE News.